Hello, IP family, Corey and Rebecca are here, and we have the pleasure of bringing you the Sacred Season Daily Devotional Day 30. Yes, we have one more day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we will discuss the first step to possessing the promises of God's Word. Our scripture for today comes from Mark chapter 4. This is the parable of the sower. In this parable, a sower scatters seeds on four different types of soil. The first soil was so hard that the seed had no way to sprout or grow at all. The second soil was stony. This didn't stop the seed from planting and growing quickly in the shallow soil. However, the plant was unable to grow deep roots and with no source of nutrients, the plant withered. The third type of soil was thorny. Yes, the seed was able to plant and grow. However, the many thorns overtook the plant and it was unable to survive. The fourth soil was good soil. We know it's good because the seed planted, it grew strong, and was able to produce fruit, not just once, but many times. Thanks. In Mark chapter four, verse 14, Jesus begins to explain the significance of this parable. Jesus says in verse 14, the farmer sows the word. God promises us salvation, eternal life, joy, peace, and many other wonderful promises. The seed mentioned in this parable is the Word of God. We can see that the seed remained the same throughout just as God's Word remains the same and never changes. However, it is the soil that changes. You guessed it, we are the soil. Some of us are like the first, second, and third soil. Our hearts have been hardened to the teachings of God. Or perhaps we are surrounded by circumstances like the thorns that prevent us from growing deeper with the Lord. As children of God, we should always try and strive and desire to be like the fourth soil. Good soil that grows God's word to take root and grow in us and through us. We want to produce fruit as God has, well, as he promised us. Hosea 4, 6, reading from the NIV, says, My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Many people are not aware of the promises of God, and that's because they just don't know for their lack of knowledge. So, IP family, viewers, audience today, we challenge you to start gathering your keys to God's promises. You cannot possess what you don't know. All of God's promises are right there in His Word. Our Father is simply waiting on us to acknowledge them. Find as many scriptures as you can that promise what you need in this season and those in the future. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for today. We just want to exalt your wonderful and mighty name. We thank you because we know you are promise-keeping God. And we just want to ask that as we dwelled into this devotion, Lord, that you just let your word become alive in our hearts, God. We ask that we are not the hardened soil, Lord, or the thorny soil, but that we are good soil in which you're able to grow and we're able to produce fruit, Lord, as you've promised us. We ask that all of the viewers and everyone watching has been blessed by this and that you continue to bless everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.